the pre-summer concert. Six days left. If you need to exit, if you need to exit the theater, please use the doors at the rear and avoid using these side doors, please. Um, the light will come in each time you use these. They won't on the rear doors. And if you have your cell phone on, please turn the ringer off so we have a continuous performance without interruption. And I would like you all to rise and please join us in the singing of the Royal Anthem. performance examination and we're able to play this as you can tell very beautifully this I'm very proud of the distance that we have traveled this year the next group that you will see is the sixth grade band Five of these sixth graders are going to play with the seventh and eighth and ninth graders in the song that they're playing following theirs. When they begin their instruments, it's the hardest thing just to make them work. What buttons do I push down? How do I blow? How come it squeaks? How come nothing's working right? After that phase, we start to learn a lot more of the techniques needed to express ourselves on the instruments. You'll hear them play one very slow, sad song, and you'll hear them play one very fast, short note, happy song. And then we have found an arrangement of four songs that we have all played as sixth graders in one arrangement with accompaniment of the different instruments. So we'll have combinations of the different sections throughout the song. We'll open the song with the section leaders playing a soli, it's called. When you play by yourself, it's a solo. When you play with a few people, it's a soli. 
So the section leaders will lead off the song, and then you'll hear the different combinations of sections throughout this piece of music. This is called Beginning Band's Greatest Hits. So the first song will be Erie Canal, slow song, second song very fast, and uh, the, it's going to be, I hope, part of the soundtrack of the Lone Ranger movie next year when it comes out, called the William Tell Overture, and then beginning band's greatest hits. So well, that song probably depicts how the students feel before their final examinations, studying so hard, so tired, oh my. And this is probably how they're going to feel after they finish their examinations. The beginning band's greatest hits, four songs put together. Um, Merrily We Roll Along, Hot Cross Buns, Claire de la Lune, and Lightly Roll.
This year, each student in year one and two is playing three songs. Uh, year two especially. In years three and four, they're playing three songs to four songs. One is playing five songs. Grade 10, playing four songs. So this required that I provide the students with all of those songs. And we rehearsed all of those songs. And you auditioned your way into the group according to how well you play the different levels of music. So we have mixtures in a true MYP spirit of the grades all the way through. Everyone contributes equally and to the success of the performance. Because sometimes we have beginners that come in that have never played anything at all. And if, if a person is in like ninth or 10th grade, that's just too much to ask to be able to cover four years of instrumental training in four or five months. So I don't believe in stressing the student out that way. But still, if they perform with the ability that they're able and feel good about their performance, that's the whole thing. If music isn't fun, what good is it? So I did a little research. I do have some program notes. Not very many. When Kun Varney was going to open this theater, and it was just about ready, I know after having taught in, in China, for a couple of years, a certain amount of tradition, and not a lot, but some. And I asked her if there was any dance troupe going to be here to open the theater. She opened the theater with Cone, which was amazing. Did you see it? It was very, very good. That was the first performance. And so my question was, is there going to be a dragon dance? Because a, a dragon dance, most people know, here's a history lesson, originated in the Han Dynasty at 206 BC to 220 AD. And the dragon dance is widely performed throughout the world, especially during Chinese New Year celebrations. The dragon is considered a river spirit, and so dance teams imitate the flowing movements of a river and, then, and demonstrate postures of power, dignity, and wisdom, which are its characteristics. Dragons are believed to bring good luck to people. The appearance of a dragon can be frightening, but it has a benevolent disposition, and so eventually the dragon became an emblem to represent imperial authority. So we're going to bring a bit of good luck to the theater with a song called Dragon Dance.
we have, huh, we just held a meeting of the TSEC music educators in another room behind you yesterday. And Concordian is going to host a mass TSEC orchestra next year. Schools from all over the TSEC organization, BCIS and Regents and the, the sports teams that we play will bring their musicians. Up till now there's only been one musical uh, offering from TSEC and that was the Battle of the Bands which is a totally different format because that's all guitars and singers which has its place because that's what the kids like to do. And some music programs throughout the district are completely centered around that. But the directors were so grateful that they have this vehicle now to be able to 